seven, y'all. Uh oh. <laughs> somebody's wedding ring. Holy crap. Well, it's somebody's something ring. I hate you. I'm throwing it in the ocean. <laughs> uh oh. That's cool. I wonder what kind of metal it is. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's really heavy. It's, it's super heavy. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Can you That's feel crazy. It? Yeah. That's like legit. That's heavy. Does it have an inscription in it? I don't know. I love you forever. I hope you never ever throw this ring in the ocean when you get mad at me. Wait, no, that's not what it says. It says Triton. Tristan. Titanium? It says Triton on it, so maybe it belonged to King Triton. <laughs> I don't know, but that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Woohoo! My first ring! Alright y'all, so we found like a little untouched spot like over here. I found this. I think it's pewter or silver. It's like in the high 80s and I have no idea what it is y'all. What do you think? It's a pirate anchor. <laughs> Y'all are probably going to tell me that it's something to do with a barge or something. We'll just have to clean it up and see what it is, y'all. It's super heavy. Um, feels like iron for sure. Super, super heavy. Let's go wash it off in the ocean. It doesn't look as old as the pirate gun. <laughs> Make that as part of a bar. I have no idea. What do y'all think? Or it's a piece of a building? <laughs> I don't know. It's big and heavy. We got a 90, so we did. And we found a pirate's fish hook. <laughs> you can get barracuda or shark. <laughs> Just kidding, but I can definitely use it in my art, so. And it's from the Caribbean, so it's extra cool. All right, y'all, let's keep going. It's storming, y'all. The pirates are angry that we're back for their China. <laughs> this is how pretty you can see the rain. That's so cool. It's storming, y'all, so we had to take a break it's still pretty though. <laughs> Wish y'all were here. Okay, so we got an 81 signal and we've been digging for a while, so let's find out what it is. Okay, so right here we have, I don't know, a shovel or something. And then we keep digging and now we found a biblical tablet. No, I'm kidding. It looks like a domino or something. Look at that. I'm thinking it's like a tile. I have no idea. This thing is crazy. It feels like, I mean, it could be stone. It could be a piece of a pool, but... It's also connected to another piece of metal, so maybe it's the floor of an ancient Bahamian household. I don't know. Maybe it's an upside down boat that was brought here by Hurricane Irma or something and 
we're gonna find out what it is y'all all right y'all so we've been digging for about 45 minutes and my son thinks it's a capsized boat <laughs> it's it could be accurate it could be true this could be the anchor and then this is the bottom there was a hurricane irma here um not too long ago and uh here's some metal and and some plastic domino looking i don't know i guess it's the bottom of a boat or something if y'all have any other ideas go ahead and leave it in the comments this could go on for another 20 feet or so so we're just going to go ahead and abandon it and call it um the mystery capsized boat all right, y'all, so we're here on a Bahamian island. Um, tons of history, obviously. We found our pirate, or our piece of a pirate gun here. There was a huge storm here today, so we didn't get to go out too much. Went in the morning for a little bit, and then uh, had to wait out all the thunder and lightning. Found a couple coins, an American quarter, and a Bahamian one cent piece. 2015 and 2016. It's not super old, but it's still cool. Found some awesome things in the ocean so far. We found sand dollars and all sorts of cool stuff. The water is super warm, super blue. It's a little cloudy right now because the storm just finished, but um, having having a great time. And uh, we're gonna keep going, y'all, and see what we can find as we keep going on this journey. So we're gonna keep looking for that pirate's treasure. All right. I got it. What the hell is this? All right, does anyone know what this is? I don't. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> seen one of these in my life and I've definitely never held one uh, it's so freaking cool I'm gonna go put this guy way far away he was too close to shore so we're gonna save him and go put him super far where he can live a lot longer hopefully so how cool is that so awesome hey y'all so we are here in Nassau an island in the Bahamas and we are at the end of our trip so I'm gonna go over my relics that I've picked up. It's our relic roundup time, y'all. We found a lot of interesting things that we are kind of puzzled about, so maybe y'all could help us out. That would be cool. I'm gonna talk about this glass full of glass first. Um, I would be walking down the beach and I would be picking up like shards of glass because I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'd be picking them up and throwing them away and my daughter was like, you should make a mosaic out of that stuff. So, good idea. I started collecting glass and I got a whole bunch going up and down the beach, saving people's feet. Pretty cool. I'll do something fun with that. I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room right now. <laughs> this ginormous don't know. I'm guessing it was some sort of like anchor or or very heavy object that was used as an anchor the last time we were in nassau um we found what we thought was a boat cleat and we had a little episode where we put it in white vinegar and y'all helped us out and it, and it was actually a flintlock plate off a muzzle loading musket from the pirate days so this corrosion or this patina on this 
item just reminded me of that, even though I'm thinking it's definitely newer because the rope looks so good. <laughs> As I'm looking at SpongeBob SquarePants in between <laughs> the rope, sorry. But anyways, I mean, it's got like shells that have like grown on it and everything. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to like take this bad boy home and kind of like figure out um, by putting him in white distilled vinegar, what the heck he is or was. Maybe he really, maybe this one really is a boat cleat. Maybe it's an anchor. I don't know, but I want to find out. So there you go. So of course we found some coins, nothing too old. 1981 was the oldest quarter. We got four American quarters and we got some Bahamian coins. We got some Bahamian one cent pieces and um, I believe a 10 cent piece. So we found this one on the beach, not really sure. It's a robot. <laughs> it looks like a robot face. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> I actually have seen people like make robots out of like old, you know, relics and like metal pieces. See, I'm not the only one that uses like old metal in their art. So it just reminded me of a face. Beep boop beep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a nerd. Okay, found some rusty, corroded nails or screws and a giant fish hook. Just kidding, but um some sort of just metal bar that I will definitely use in my art or my daughter will. So we love to take home metal pieces. Um, I found this one, which is really super cool. I'm going with, it's a pirate bullet. I don't remember what the reading was on this, but it's just so like misshapen and weird. And it just sort of like, kind of looks like a bullet. I'm going with this as a possible pirate bullet. Pirate musket ball, no idea, but sounds good to me. Found some really interesting little pieces of tile, broken tile, which I might also incorporate in some sort of a mosaic. And this one specifically has been worn down on the edges and I actually think that this might be from like a sunken ship from a long time ago. Last time we were, last year we were here in the Bahamas, we found little, a couple little pieces of porcelain and they had the rounded edges and they looked really similar to this, but they had like a print on them. This is white, but it's all crackly. And I don't know why, I just think that this one's actually from, you know, a long time ago. These look more recent to me and found a strange tooth nothing to do with metal, but not sure if it's a shark tooth. Um, we saw a barracuda and it is not the shape of a barracuda tooth. So not sure if y'all know HMU, hit me up in the comments or tell me what's going on. If you know, or have an idea whose tooth this is, <laughs> found some random pieces of metal, which we again, don't know what they are. Um, interestingly enough, these pieces and these pieces were set off by the detector, but not by the pin pointer. So the pin pointer is supposed to tell you when things are metal, when you're digging in the sand, and it's especially useful when you know, you're know you underwater and you're digging for things underwater. It just gives you another like, brrr, like to tell you, oh, you're near it or whatever. Well, no such luck with these items. So not really sure what the heck's going on, uh, they're definitely some sort of metal because also found this weird thing on the beach. Interestingly, oddly, coincidentally enough, um, is a magnet. <laughs> it says, do not get near pacemakers. And we found this randomly on the beach. So watch this. This is kind of neat. Ready? So these are magnetic. So there's some sort of metal, right? They set the detector off but not the pinpointer. Why? Don't know. The pinpointer worked great on most of the items I will show you and demonstrate right now, but just none of these. It's really strange. I'm just kind of puzzled about it. I have no idea why, but I will show you. <coughs> quarters. It likes quarters. Okay. Weird. Why? Don't know. Ready? Magnetic. 
hasn't set off the pinpointer. It, it did, however, set off the detector. Not sure. Inquiring minds want to know. So if y'all have an idea as to why this is happening, please let us know. <coughs> Aluminum. It works. Don't know why the pinpointer doesn't like these things. Anyways, moving on. This one's super awesome. It looks like it has like little writing on it. I don't know, some sort of a different writing that I can't really make out, but I don't know. I'm, I, I'm just like thinking it's the shape of a coin. So I don't know. Interesting. Found a lot of bottle caps cleaning up the ocean. Um, and I picked up a ton of straws. Okay, people. If you go to the beach or anywhere near the beach or wherever, don't drop straws. Turtles get straws stuck in their noses. Like it's possible. I know it's kind of far-fetched, but it does happen. There's a video that kind of went viral of um, a sea turtle that got a straw stuck in his nose and it was really, it looked really painful when they removed it. It was awful. It was just, I, excruciating to watch so I picked up every freaking straw that I saw and I'm talking like over 20 over 30 straws it just uh, breaks my heart can you please pick up the straws can you please if you see straws put them in the trash please or if you have a straw put it in the trash anyways just wanted to throw that in there because I love animals and I love all animals so just thinking about a sea turtle with straw in his nose it's just it hurts so Okay, had a lot, picked up some bottle caps with the detector. That's always fun. <laughs> you get really excited. Kind of like a tin can. And you're like, oh, yay. <laughs> but we got a different collection here. We got Budweiser, Corona Extra, Stella, Kelly, Hand Holding I Don't Know, and Mystery which is kind of cool. I mean, you know it's not old, but it has that corrodedness on it, that corrosion, it's just kind of cool. Giant pieces of, I don't know, a barge, or part of a boat, or I don't know, building? I have no idea. And then this guy, don't know what he is either. We're gonna definitely throw these bad boys in the white distilled vinegar just to check it out, see if it maybe tells us a little more. This guy's really pretty, You're gonna be using some art, so that's awesome. Is anyone missing a sunglass lens? If you are, hit me up and I'll send it to you. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyways, found a little sunglass lens there. Some aluminum. This one we dug in deep water for, and it's hard because we don't have scuba gear and snorkels only work like, you know, when you're at the surface. So to dig and go back down and hold your breath and bubbles and bubbles and, and then you find this. <laughs> but it's cool because I love throwing trash away and getting it out of the environment. So hip hip hooray. And also these little pull tabs. Those will go in the trash. Okay, my favorite find, nerd alert. With my giant Jurassic prehistoric <laughs> sand dollar he's really old he was already dead I would never kill him so um he was already dead obviously and he's huge so I was really excited that I found this so just wanted to share that with y'all so monetary wise the best find of the trip was this ring looks like a man's wedding ring it is a triton ring it is made of tungsten carbide and i would love to return it to whoever lost it if you lost your wedding ring on nassau let me know hmu <laughs> and i'll send you back your ring but i'm gonna need some sort of proof like maybe you know your finger <laughs> with it on <laughs> with the same design but anyways um definitely i want to return this so these start at like three hundred dollars apparently so you know someone lost a wedding ring either they lost it accidentally or they were angry and threw it off a boat or a pier not sure anyways no judging um it was a super fun trip we had a great time we found a live sand dollar never ever ever have seen one of those and it was so cool to hold it with this furry little 
you know, tentacle-y, hair-like follicle thingies on the edges. That was so cool. And I got over my fear of swimming in the deep, deep ocean and just trekked, booked it all the way out to the end of the pier almost, and then put him where he would be safe. So that was cool. Um, we see, we saw a couple sea turtles. We saw a humongous manta ray. We saw st stingrays and lots of fish. Oh, and we also saw a ginormous barracuda. So it was a adventure packed, fun, awesome time. I'm so glad that I got to come back and we had a lot of fun here in Nassau. It's my favorite Bahamian island. It was super cool, found a lot of interesting things. If you all know, maybe what some of them are. HMU, hit me up. Anyways, tons of fun. Thanks for joining us and we'll see y'all next time.